bouncing. Just imagine that scenario. If people, if pe people getting so scared that a meteor is about to hit the Earth, only for it to just boing. Oh my God. Yeah, Courtney just said that it's uh, the sun is turning into a black hole. Yep, that's what I can. Either I thought it was just like I, I I thought it was just becoming the big crunch, but I can definitely see it being a black hole. Okay, this which is, is get, funny. Because, this is getting really really hard in the eyes. Uh, which is funny because I don't think the hypothetical theory about the sun is that it turned into a black hole. It becomes a red giant. Oh, and then after all the energy, oh, you were saying yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> it became a black hole. Not just any black hole. Look at the look at the oh, shit. That, that is, is all amazing. That is unusual. I haven't seen a black hole like that. I mean, that's why I think some people hypothetically say what a black hole looks like. Because we won't, because with the exception of the image that did come out of the black of the supermassive black hole, we've only just thought that the rendering of the black hole was just oh, it's just like a black hole and just a hole that's black, and then everything disappears into it. Now all I can think is black hole sun. Quite black literally, hole sun. Won't you come? Won't you come? And wash, and wash away, away the rain, black hole sun. The other day, um, I heard a um, somebody actually did like an orchestral composition version of it. It sounded really nice, like melodically, it sounded much better than the song itself. Because okay, so when I was younger and I discovered that song, I used to hate it because it always creeped me out. Ah, oh, okay. It must have. It has to be that that Leslie uh, amplifier. I mean, probably. And I think it's just also the uh, the very. Um, I think it's also just because the song is very, um, I guess, eerie. I suppose. I guess so. Well, there goes Iris. Well, there she goes. Oh, <laughs> look who's also joining the party. Let's see if we can get its uh, viewpoint. Oh. Wait, is it about to... <laughs> They're coming. Uh -huh. Oh, I see Saturn. No. Back up, back up. No. Hey, Saturn, how you doing? <laughs> you can see it going in a straight line. <laughs> Funny enough, I wouldn't expect you to be more ter like with you mentioning the song "Creep Gel." I was thinking, oh, so the music video, but no, like the actual song itself, which I can understand. I did, like I found this uh, music video, and I was like, dude, I was afraid of going outside afterwards. Like the sun literally becomes a black hole and absorbs everything. It God, wasn't yeah. that. It was the saturated colors, and for no reason, everybody was just dramatically grinning and smiling. It's just, ugh. It was it. everybody was all creepy too. Yeah, it's like, did, did everybody get brainwashed? What the fuck is this? I think it's just supposed to be sort of a parody of like people trying to put on a happy face, but when they're actually very miserable. Hmm. At least that's my theory. But up how slow also, are the planets being pulled back into the uh, into the black hole? And you know what? That's a good question. <laughs> well, Saturn is. Saturn is comes back typical. around. I see Juno. I see. How do you pronounce that? Hygia. What is that uh, way out of the distance? See. Palace. Saturn comes back around. Makes you feel like a child. Inserts Jeopardy theme here. All right, you know what? <laughs> let's make thing. Let Let's speed it up. Speed up the explosion to the disaster. Uh. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there goes Juno. Juno, go away! I've never even seen that movie. Uh, looks like we're going pretty far, and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, but it was nice knowing you, Saturn. And... Saturn comes back around! I, I cannot get that Tool song out of my head. Alright, so, let's take a look at Palace. Oh, Jesus! Ooh! I actually did re-listen to that album a while back. It's pretty good. There's like other shit getting sucked in. Wee! It took 20 years for that planet to be pulled in. <laughs> nah. By the way, chat, uh, anybody who donates, you can leave a funny little bot message. <laughs> Let's see. I think Earth is long gone, uh, Courtney. The Earth probably either got absorbed into the sun what? or it got flung into space. Where we all suffered a, fro a freezing death. I'm Maru. Oh, wait, we're getting oh, closer. Nibur oh, Niburu was the um, often believed um, apocalypse theory that supposedly the Earth would be destroyed by a. Um, a meteor or planet called Niburu. But of course it never happened. Wee! I think it's spinning like crazy. <clears throat> yeah, everything just keeps getting sucked in. Uh, you see all the specs getting sucked in back and forth. Yeah. Oh, there we go, and... Oh. Insert funny bot message here. I kid. I just wanted to be nice, haha. -ha. Thank you, Courtney, for the $10 donation. Courtney's a good girl. I'm sick of these end-of-world asteroid will strike Earth posts nowadays. Anybody remember yeah. Armageddon? God, Armageddon was a thing. Remember when 2012 was a thing? Oh, God, 2012 was a thing, too. Like, it's been over 10 years now since 2012, and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, hmm, I wonder what Roland Emmerich, thing, uh, Roland Emmerich thinks about, you know, the aftermath of, oh, God. Okay, I was Black that. Hole Sun. Also, he did release a movie literally called Moonfall, where yeah. the moon. Which. Can I spoil what the big reveal is? Go that right movie? ahead, because it, it looked really fucking stupid. So, the reason the moon falls into Earth is because the moon is actually a spaceship controlled by an AI. <laughs> I am not kidding. I think they end up saying that's what it is. Let me check just to be sure. Right. Who was in it? Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson, you're a good actor. Stop being in terrible movies. Get a better hiring agent. Maybe get another agent. I mean, dude, you're fucking Ed Warren in the Conjuring movies. Okay, so apparently it's revealed that the moon in the movie, it's revealed that the moon is actually a superstructure. Like a super giant mega structure in space. Although according to um Wikipedia, it's something called a Dyson sphere. Which apparently is some sort of like 
mega structure. So in other words, it's literally a giant structure that's powered by a dwarf star. That is also controlled by an AI. Let's see if we increase the density. Oh, oh my God. Look at Earth. Well Whee! There goes the Earth! No, like, look at the upper right of the screen. Oh! <laughs> I think I just started an Ice Age. I think you did start an Ice Age. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, now it looks so unsustainable. Oh, I'm, now I'm just getting flashbacks of that god-awful movie, Knowing. Wait, which one? Where the hell is what? Earth? Where did the Earth go? Oh, I went way far out there. Oh, jeez. That's a meteorite. There's Earth. Can't you just type arbitrary numbers in to take the mass, whatever you want, like two million or something? I mean, sure. But I don't know what exact number to put it in. Hey, here's a funny Cause... idea. Me? At the uh, um, at the request of a donation, ask me what to do to a planet, like enlarge it or something, or let it explode. Ooh, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, Earth can't be too far. Uh, look for the giant round ice cube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, has let me see if Ro if Roland Emmerich has done any other like apoc like or any of his movies not an apocalyptic film. And it doesn't have to be Courtney, Jesus. Courtney's gonna keep doing it every time. She loves trolling. Ten thousand BC. That was a movie. Okay, so I increased the density. Let's let's work with the radius. Yes. Oh shit! I just turned into a super giant Earth. Oh god! Imagine if the Earth is a super giant. I wonder if this changes the, uh, like the orbit in some particular way. It probably does because I do remember that all that the um, the mass of the planet always has something to do with the. Oh with, shit! Um... Oh shit! Oh okay. I thought Venus was about to strike at Earth. Oh god, Imagine That would have been scenario. funny as shit. <laughs> I see Mercury. Let's see. Oh fuck me. I forgot that he did that stupid movie. What movie? Um, Anonymous. Roman Emmerich did a movie literally about how Oh yeah, Sh William Shakespeare didn't write his plays. It was actually this guy. Because, yes, that's actually a theory that exists. There are people out there who legitimately don't believe Shakespeare wrote his plays. Which, there's evidence that he did and that he existed. Why are you people this dumb? That'd be like saying, did Stephen King write his stories? Has anybody, uh, take... Galileo, Galileo, be got all. Curse explode. All right, let's uh, let's let Earth explode. Blow up the planet. Maybe the core. Maybe the Earth's core just couldn't handle it anymore. Oh shit! I the orbit turned red. Oh. Oh God! Did I increase? What the hell did I increase? No, no, no. Uh, let's increase what the. the let's increase the mass. It's a giant rock. Oh, oh, oh there Whoa! we go. Well, now it's turned into a sun. The Earth is now a sun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my Venus! <laughs> I just bounced. <pissed. laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, it would actually help if I. <laughs> Well, there it goes. It just cur it just went exploded. Boom. <laughs> did I just slingshot the sun? I think you did. Oh, it's heading for Saturn. Fuck.
decided to try to get away. <laughs> Urine is a Sarichi for the sun. Hmm. Hasn't Hataru suffered enough? Hmm. Hataru? Uh, I'm reading the chat. Oh, no worries. So I'm guessing Earth went supernova? Me. I'm pretty much sure that's what happened, but but I don't think that'd be possible. Considering... Oh, it turned into a black hole. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah. Congratulations, you made the Earth into a black hole. <laughs> There's Pluto but over there. It... There's Saturn, but again... Uranus. But then again, if the Earth is a black hole, will it be possible for it to time travel? Considering test, considering the movie of um, Interstellar. Which is a good movie, but way too trippy as fuck. <laughs> you've destroyed the... <laughs> you've destroyed <laughs> the solar system. Oh, like, God. There's times. auroras um, happening in the background. Oh, shit. Ooh. All right, let's make shit even more fucked up. Um, we ha. Huh. There's not that much light on this one. Hmm. That's a weird looking planet. Or black hole. <laughs> it just shrunk back down. Or maybe it I was Whoop. zoomed out. Whoop. Oh. Oh. I turned it into that again. <laughs> This urine is, is it gonna get sucked in? Yes. It looks like it's aiming into the same direction. Ooh. There's not much light on this one because the sun is yeeted. And yet I can clearly see everything else. Woo! Okay, is it coming towards Is urine is gonna move any closer? see kitty says ufo was shot down 1 p.m an hour ago and it posted the news clips hmm. what i can only take that with a pinch of salt all right uh let's raise the density more Whoa, Jesus, it just lit up. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the black hole urge is yeeted. Like, th th like, a black hole, like, this was too powerful for a black hole, apparently. Uh, whoa! Dabba dee dabba da indeed, Courtney. All right. Dabbity dabbada, honey. Oh, also, now, it's a, now it made that into a black hole. <laughs> no! Oh, wait. Also, ye wait, what did Kitty post? Oh, shit. Huh. But then again, there's also the news that apparently the police shot at something in Ohio, and it apparently was a bunch of um, chemicals, which that's not good. No, not good at all. Also, apparently I've been told that Russia has blocked access to Fur Affinity. Hello, Ryza! Ryza, say something, buddy. Something that isn't Squidward. <laughs> 